At Infrastructure Victoria, we've been busy investigating the impact automated and zero emissions vehicles could have on our future and what we need to do to prepare. And our findings are significant. Driverless vehicles could make our roads more efficient even when mixed with regular cars. And if all cars were driverless and shared, congestion could fall by up to 91%. The potential reduction in greenhouse gas emissions from zero emissions vehicles could be up to 27 million tonnes in 2046, potentially delivering health benefits to Victoria worth up to $735 million per year. And driverless cars could reduce road accidents by up to 94%. They could also add up to $14.9 billion per year to the Victorian economy in 2046. But there are some challenges that lie ahead too. If all vehicles were electric, our energy consumption could increase by around 50%. And new vehicle types will bring new forms of waste, including batteries and e-waste. So with these benefits and challenges in mind, we have developed 17 recommendations to prepare Victoria for the future. Both government and the private sector have a role to play. Investment will be required in energy network upgrades, upgrades to cellular data coverage and upgrades to roads. But there are some actions government can take right away, like integrating on-demand booking and payment systems into the public transport mix to provide a seamless connection between modes of transport when you need them, and sharing transport data in real time between government and commercial transport providers as well as allowing for flexibility in planning rules to make it easier for people to charge their electric vehicles. While the future is uncertain, Victoria needs to be prepared to reap the benefits. To download the full report, visit infrastructurevictoria.com.au.